very good evening to everyone welcome to the uh, mahipati talks uh, which we are focusing more on life skills and personality development here the most important thing is that any student or any person would like to get job the the most required is that e portfolio uh, how to make it what is the e portfolio all this the details we are going to uh, are going to be delivered by uh, dr uh, murli vemala uh, he is a person who has got uh, uh, more than uh, one and a half decade of uh, teaching experience he obtained his phd from kakti university wangal mphil in uh, english language teaching he completed his pgct from cefil uh, now uh, ifl university uh, ma english uh, from uh, kakti university uh, he is a person who has got lot of uh, professional skills including english language teaching soft skills training elt content development online teaching and learning uh, apart from all these things he is a nice kind gentleman who is always there to help anyone else who is in need and his oratory skills has been appreciated in the uh, society especially in the uh, academy uh, academia and he is a good anchor campaigner moderator and uh, 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 on the top of it he is a very good trainer now i request dr murli vemla to uh, take over the session on e portfolio which is very important during this covid days thank you very much uh, you can go ahead with the session uh, murli dr murli vemla yeah thank you sir thank you very much for inviting me on uh, a brief talk on this particular document today i also thank uh, for giving me this opportunity okay, i welcome all the participants and friends to this talk i have researched a few websites on particular document then i wanted to share this information with you all so that most of you are working in engineering colleges like me and definitely the outgoing batch students in fourth year of engineering they require these documents there are so many documents as well but uh, many curriculum uh, curriculum do not uh, even focus on this portfolio right portfolio writing uh, apart from other than this portfolio writing there is another document uh, which is very much uh, required this is a lor letter of recommendations even we have uh, sop statement of purpose how to write these documents in every organization the, these documents are ready with them just they change the name name of the student Uh, what is the curriculum uh, what uh, what is he doing then uh, just uh, simply they write the, the name of the student and uh, sign the document and give it to the students so that they can apply uh, for ms abroad uh, let me directly go to the topic uh, with see uh, what is here exactly a portfolio a portfolio is the best way of uh, showing your professional skills to the world i'm using here the word here world because uh, why i'm using the word world here you will be knowing in due course of my presentation if you stick on to the end of this talk definitely you will come to know uh, this portfolio is not confined to one person that is an individual but it uh, is completely uh, exploring all the industries all the companies once you create your website uh, you create your blog i am going to tell you how to create a blog how to create a website how to create and insert upload your own portfolio in this particular area so this happens to be uh, especially to show off your skills and achievements without sounding anything wrong there so what are you doing here especially since you are joining engineering course since you are joining engineering course since opting a course for four years of degree so most of the people uh, they simply join the course they join the course without knowing because why you have taken this course if you ask some student uh, no my dad is my dad is interested in this course branch of engineering so that i have taken this my mom has uh, so much passion about engineering so that i have taken this course so they take so many reasons to join the engineering course but students they have to focus on what why they have chosen this course that is most important thing i am going to talk about it yes uh, the first point i mentioned here i think i am uh, uh, sharing here i want to share uh, this particular uh, yeah 
Uh, let us uh, be uh, brief about what is e-portfolio, right? So uh, this is completely an academic uh, achievement, the data collection created by a student, the work he has done. Uh, the work, it means purely course-related work, course-related work. Uh, students have to here understand what is curricular activities, co-curricular activities, extracurricular activities. If they know the difference between these three categories, and definitely they can also separate all of them, all the achievements under separate categories. So this is going to be beneficial when the students create a dashboard in their own blog or in their own websites. This is important thing. Uh, what are the other issues here? I mean, uh, co-curricular activities like uh, writing essays, participating in the essay writing competition, uh, then um, uh, writing a review on a book, poster presentations, taking photographs, because these days, uh, many students in every engineering college, the management is uh, encouraging the students to form so many student clubs. That's called first club is photography club. Later it comes NSS club. Right. In this photography club, also the short films are included. Photography club and other artwork. Then it is an academic portfolio. This also can capture everything, every activity that the student is participating or has participated or he has excelled in this particular area or he has got some proficiency in this particular area, then every skill set is going to be recorded in the form of a document. That document is going to be submitted or published in a website. This is a, a brief about uh, e-portfolio. And what are the costs here, the pros and cons, I'm going to tell again. So this work you choose to get job is going to be very different from the work you choose. Okay, right point, the, uh, I'm mentioning here the another point of it. So what is happening here, object, what is the object to here? What is the main purpose of developing your own portfolio? To whom you want to show? Who, who are the audience for this portfolio? You must keep in your mind. If I'm taking a class, who are the audience? Then what is their cognitive levels, understanding levels? and how much I need to be prepared for their understanding purpose. And here students also, you have to, students have to have the clarity and how this, what is the objective and how it is going to be published and how to whom you are going to show this particular document. What is happening in the corporate industry, corporate sector all these days, if any company has come for you or you are going to the company for an interview, all the way you need to carry so many documents in your file, those here. Let me say from your uh, uh, SSC, intermediate degree, other, uh, uh, other certificates you have acquired, you have uh, completed some course on Oracle, Java, data science, everything, everything you need to carry. And you know whether you are sure or not whether you may lose the document or you may carry the document in a safe manner, isn't it? So what is that to avoid these particular documents, these documents to carry with you, you have to just prepare, develop your own website. Uh, there are many websites available. Develop your own website, incorporate every document in it. Just simply you submit, you submit your web link to the HR companies. So they'll go through this. So the submitting, forwarding a CV to the HR manager is somewhat outdated, outdated. And what is the next level of the CV submission? The next advanced level is video resume. I am also going to talk about this video resume. So video resume and also e-portfolio. Some colleges, some companies are asking only for video resume, just you think about it. You, so keeping this, the importance and the expectations of the corporate industry, the engineering student, the aspirant should be ready with their requirements. 
is important. So that is the reason e-portfolio makes and it also reaches so many purposes too. And then here, our next point is portfolio hosting. What do you mean by portfolio hosting? Uh, you write, uh, you prepare so many documents and you segregate all the documents first. Uh, you talk about uh, once you prepare your document, you on the dashboard you create about, next you create a home or you first create a home, it's vice versa. Some companies, they first talk about about on the dashboard, later they come to home and later third document is, third dashboard heading is educational qualifications and whether research you have done, all these are mentioned on the dashboard in your own website. So portfolio hosting, hosting is nothing but it is going to have so much information about you and your achievements. That should be memorable. Remember this particular point. The one document you prepare and publish in the website means you are trying to reach the nook and the corner of the world people, global companies. So how your document should be very important. So that should be memorable. Memorable in a such a way when you when the companies look at your complete dashboard of the website. I mean, that may be a blog, that may be your, your own website, whatever it is. So immediately they should show some interest to look at your dashboard and they have to click each and every heading and they want to read much about you and the work you have done. This is called hosting, hosting, hosting a website, hosting. For example, uh, see, for example, you have organized a party you are inviting so many delegates, so many friends, so many relatives, and if your hospitality is bad, for example, and not up to the mark, do you think all the companies recommend you and all the relatives come, uh, come and appreciate you, the work you have done? They never. Similarly, this work also should be in a such a way, most of the people should talk about your portfolio. So that is the hosting. It should be very, very memorable and it should be also professional. Okay. And then the uh, third point here talks about, third point here talks about portfolio design. What is a portfolio design here? Always remember dear friends and students, the portfolio design comes under the templates. First category is the templates. And the second category is oh, what type of script font you have selected. That should not be something clumsy. So it should be very fair. Third point is, third important point is where you want to make some highlights, important skills, you highlight it. Okay, next point under this category is portfolio design. The most important point is your language should be very, very simple and that should be easily understood by all kinds of people out there portfolio designing I'm talking about. So what is that? Uh, when you are creating or developing a paragraph, you should straight away talk about this paragraph. No deviations, no distractions from the main purpose of this document. Okay. Next it is uh, the design on all. So it has potential to demonstrate potential to demonstrate your own professional and personal growth. What does it mean here professional? Completely, you must know this. See, including your SWOT analysis. I remember the point. You can also include your SWOT analysis or if you have done anything work or your experts have done some analysis on you, you request the teachers, you request request the trainers to submit that particular SWOT analysis document to you. And the same document also can be uploaded in your own portfolio website. Professional. Professional, the moment you join the course, what course you have chosen, why you have chosen this course. And also you should know what are the contents, what are the salary in, included in the first semester. In the first semester, second semester, what do you have studied? And the third semester, core, and it comes under core, what you are going to study, what you have studied. You need to define each semester in a brief paragraph in your own portfolio. 
So you can have some underlinings. You can also have some headings there. You must know professional etiquette, professional etiquette, and also here SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis: What is your personality level? So in the SWOT analysis, earlier earlier people spoke about the SWOT analysis (SWOT). I'm talking about it here. So now this T, last T, actually is a threat. Okay, and uh, just the word threat is being replaced by C, challenges. because there is this, uh, there is a lot of difference when people understand the uh, meaning between uh, challenge and threat so your uh, threat it gives a negative impact and is a negative skill okay uh, whereas challenge challenging challenging is a positive when you look at the word when you listen to the word challenge you always receive it in a positive and kind of smiley face that is going to be the particular thing professional sir and your personal growth personal growth uh, how it is going to be and your circumstances living conditions and your interpretation with others how are you going to be ming how are you going to mingle with friends okay and this is in interlinked with the professional setting okay and uh, next point is evidence based practice evidence what is what do you mean by evidence based practice in the four years of your degree you happen to participate in so many student activities you are going to participate directly or indirectly in so many student clubs you are going to attend so many conferences in house and off the campus you collect the information in what do you mean by here information information is nothing but you collect the certificate that you have attended this certificate also called evidence based practice evidence based practice and next comes to in laboratory work you have done some work you have devised some products for that you need a certificate of appreciation participation or hosting the program whatever it is so evidence based and planning space for professional development that is going to be here planning for space for professional development needs and experience so what do you hear uh, what do you mean by uh, this particular thing now so professional development you where there is a possibility to attend any seminar out there do attend do not wait for somebody for your invitation so you need to you need to plan your own space do not wait for somebody for invitation you are going something or in our campus some activities are being conducted organized by the teachers and you are waiting outside some people are participating actively inside the hall you are simply waiting outside at the threshold and peeping into the activity so you should it seems you are curious to attend or participate then you just take the time and excuse yourself take permission from the moderator and join then particip actively participate in the program that is called planning your space for professional development and needs and experience so this is also experience see means say whatever the knowledge you gain acquired from other sources try to try to uh, try to uh, i mean um, collect the information collect the data and try to collect the certificates and then you can incorporate you require this experience this experience is really you know i i tell you one thing many people many people uh, during four one of their engineering degree uh, they depend on ready made projects major projects there is a lot of difference when you uh, purchase a project when you directly do a project by yourself so this is going to be uh, experience when you have done something by yourself or with the help of the team members you can do you can explain very well how you have done this project and you can also share these pros and cons with your hr managers so that makes you lot of sense there next it comes to how many types of uh, portfolios we have yes and there are broadly described into only three types only three types working that's what a development showcasing and assessment 
This third one, third one is purely happens to be in the colleges by the teachers, by the mentors and by the moderators. And first two, anybody can do the first two. Here, what is working on the portfolio? This is going to be a reflection portfolios, formative portfolios, and also working. All, all of them are considered under one category. These are typically created by yourself only. Dear students, you have excellent brain, excellent creativity. You can do wonders. Thing is, you need to have a solid time to do so many things. So planning is needed. In this planning, you what you do here, you sit every time, every time in every semester, whatever the departmental activity is going on. Once you attend this activity or a program, come back, sit at home and take a pen and paper. What is the program you have attended? What are the skills you have enhanced? Just write in only one paragraph. That's enough. And when, if you do every time the same practice till the end of four years and the eight semesters, this is going to be a very big passage of describing about yourself. And this data you are going to incorporate in your portfolio then. So coming to this one, these are often shared with, obviously this happens to be, you are going to, you are, you are preparing your document and you are going to share with uh, other friends and you can also share your portfolio with your expert teachers, expert designers. They will help you how to write. If any corrections, they, they are just, and they can also help you to change this particular thing. And they also rewrite, they suggest you to do certain things. So working on this particular thing is nothing but what is happening here? In the particular one first category is when you are doing your work, when you are doing your work under the supervision of a moderator, the moderator will give you a feedback. The moderator or the teacher or the coach will give you a feedback. You write down this feedback, draft it, draft it, or else the advanced method is you can record his or her voice, expert voice, purely feedback. You can record the feedback of an expert on you about this activity and the same feedback you can directly upload in MP4 or MP3 manner in your e-portfolio website. They will have a look. Global, global company, HR people, experts will have a look what the opinion they have given. It matters most for every student who is aspiring for uh, MS and who is aspiring for uh, campus placements. If any, this is nothing but recommendation. <coughs> recommendation. LOR is another part. It's a written document. This is an oral document. You can submit to the next levels. So this portfolio really supports the idea of formatting feedback as an essential part of your learning process. Every work you do, take the feedback. Take the feedback, this is evidence, and also collect your certificate. This will be helpful to you. So what are you doing here? You are every moment, every time you are strengthening, you are strengthening your own career in this manner. So it demonstrates a work in progress, includes a self-assessment and reflection. What is a self-assessment? As I told you, SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis and also some experts use Zohari window. They can also use, or in this manner, simple manner. And at every soft skills trainer will give you what is SWOT analysis and he will do it for you. You request the teachers, you request the teachers. Uh, to spare their valuable time for giving a feedback on you and providing this assessment sheet to you. So that is going to be a complete uh, credential for you. So focus on the portfolio as a process and emphasizes reflection. So portfolio focusing, processing, doing the some process, and also you keep on, you keep on focus on collecting documents, 
the works you have done, the seminars you have attended, the workshops you have attended, participated, actively participated, or the talks you gave. Okay, so for everything you need to develop, you need to preserve your document. Okay, and this is the, I, I think you are aware of this HP, uh, Hewlett, uh, Hewlett and uh, uh, HP laptop company. They have their own uh, portfolio project. I, I advise you to just look at this portfolio product in your own time. The next point is, in this uh, second point is showcasing. Showcasing is nothing but exhibiting. Exhibiting, what, what are you going to exhibit? You know, I think you have visited uh, so many shops in Hyderabad. Okay, some, some shops, I, I think most of the shops, 70% of the shops, uh, they display the newly arrivals in a separate zone. You remember this, why? Because just, this is a method of attracting the customers to the shop. In the same manner, why the HR company people should visit or look at your portfolio or a blog, you must know. Why should they visit? So you have to showcase yourself. You have to showcase your extraordinary skills and the companies should show some interest in those particular skills is important. Showcasing yourself, whatever it is, you have to showcase. So all the positives, what are, what are your positive strengths? What are your weaknesses? Of course, generally we do not show our weaknesses. Weakness is your personal. But here, the strength is, you, this is not only your personal, you have to show your strengths to the world. That is a platform you use now itself. So these are primarily a way to demonstrate the highlights of it, highlights of your career, your academic career. You, so the shop, how the shop is going to show very, very new and latest designer ways so that in the same way, you also have to do show so many latest skill set you have acquired from different sources and activities. Very important thing. That's. So what, what is going to show here? You are going to demonstrate exemplary work. Exemplary work. If uh, other people also participated in the same at, you know, workshop, you also have participated in the same workshop. So this, they have gained some skills, skill set, and here also you have gained some skill set. What you can, what you have achieved more than that. This is this comes under exemplary. This exemplary, you are going to have subtitle exemplary skill set or skill set. What, the, what do you write under skill set? So then you write a paragraph. I have gained some exemplary skills through this workshop that was being organized by Triple IT Gajbolis. And like that, you write, then you can write what the skills you have gained. Illustrates experience and achievement. You clearly define explain your experience there and your achievement. Dear students, wherever you go, wherever you go, you have to, you have to say something about to others so that people will understand what you are. You may be so, you may be very talented guy, person, but if you do not talk about yourself, the people do not know about you and they do not get the chance to talk about yourself. So what are you doing here? There is a product. Take for example, iPhone is a product or any mobile is a product. Simply if you leave this product on the showcase, no person will buy this. But you need to talk about specifications. Every specification that is there with this product and you have to prepare a brochure. On the brochure, you have to systematically write each and every thing, the importance of this product and how it was launched and what is a battery, what is IOS, how it is going to be helpful and so many things you have. And then you have to mention it. Similarly, you have to write your own achievements. That's the reason illustrating your own experience and your own achievement continuously till the end of your four years. That, that is the most important.
thing from your side you have to highlight highlight is nothing but you need not take any highlighter and you need not use any background color for the text uh, background color or any color of the font not required do not use such things highlighting is nothing but you are going to uh, put under one heading that heading should be very catchy to the hr people so illustrating focuses on the portfolio as a product so this you that's what i am talking about you you always imagine you always think e portfolio portfolio is a product is a separate document it's a separate identity like cv of course when the portfolio has come you are going to upload your cv in this portfolio website just here little difference if you want to submit this cv separate that is a different identity if you want to submit your video resume that is another identity and portfolio is another identity so these three have different identities if you want to use but when it comes to portfolio uh, coming to this uh, two and this portfolio is going to be amalgamation of remaining skill sets amalgamation of different certificates it's a mixing of cv mixing of video resume and a mixing of other certificates instead you can also upload every document under separate category so when the hr people that look at each and every category very well and as i told you this assessment is going to be purely it is done by your instructors your instructors your teachers your teachers your experts your moderators so i just wanted to the uh, oh, simple thing what what the teachers can do here what the moderators can do so as i told you in the in a moment ago uh, every teacher here will conduct one sort analysis for the student it's a lengthy process lengthy process but we need to conduct we need to prepare some questionnaire under each category each category strength weakness opportunity uh, that may be uh, threat or that may be challenge so what what happens here when we prepare some 10 to 15 questions under each category we give this questionnaire to the student we ask him to do this or uh, select the answers there are some websites online directly they give you the on the spot assessment once you keep on uh, submitting your views a b c d multiple choice questions that at the end you will get a result that is one case and this is another case so we get the students get to help direct the help from the moderators uh, the particular thing is feedback after feedback this is another one okay and uh, it's a typically systematic collection of a student work demonstrating competencies and achievements of set criteria standards and your goals here so here uh, uh, what exactly uh, we were talking about this uh, electronic portfolio uh, what is that what are the things uh, included in this e portfolio right student work i uh, i mean uh, you are demonstra demonstration you are demonstrating your skill set remember this demonstration is nothing but demonstrating your skill set what are the artifacts artifacts many students these days since they are joining the schools they are definitely will be good at in a particular art this art artifact is nothing but here i can compare this the word article artifact is uh, you may think artifacts are available in lepakshi showroom so you can buy you can uh, vases and all these things that that is different here to showcase i'm talking about these artifacts artifacts the arts you do the paintings you do okay the collages you make because you might be a photographer then you make some um, uh, short films here useful short, all the things come under this artifacts okay so you showcase students whatever here learning progression achievement and that this collection also include as i told you in the first uh, slide your papers your essays students especially from a cbse background they keep on writing reading books reading writing reading right they keep on reading so many novels and they keep on writing essays they keep on writing critical comments on the particular books 
it should be highly appreciated for them. so so what what the uh, content can be collected from content also can be collected and from while visiting blogs okay and here other demonstrations other video presentations other uh, interview presentations and also with graphic interpretations so i wanted to directly go to this particular uh, thing uh, what portfolio is this is uh, purely a learning portfolio it's been uh, used to facilitate a document and archive student learning okay it's a tool for the students to clarify their educational goals it integrates and solidify learning through reflection okay so of course it is very easy to uh, look at and uh, you can also understand by yourself and what is what is not the portfolio it is not a place holder for all your work remember this this is not uh, something else uh, uh, you can uh, mess up and you make it clumsy not like that it is only you are going to arrange all your skill set all your credentials in a systematic manner systematic manner where companies also show some interest to look at and what because co company needs some skill set whether if you mention that skill set in your cv so that the company will definitely pick you so what are the what are the things here how are you going to advertise yourself you are going to make use of so many platforms like linkedin yes uh, of course facebook obviously and there are even uh, other platforms and especially linkedin is the best and ultimate solution it is a professionally professionally organized developed platform for every one of us across the globe anybody can utilize this platform share advertise yourself and also you can advertise your skill set there you can write some um, experts they share their articles on linkedin you can write a critical review on that particular article they will be very happy in that way you your profile will be highlighted it is going to be useful and here there are some tools i'm just moving to the what are the tools available some are uh, uh, some are uh, free some are uh, low cost it, it depends on the users okay then if you look at this so many are here i have mentioned b learning canvas contently and all uh, i'm going to show a few websites uh, on this okay how these people have written okay just a minute please yeah uh, i am going to show this particular what is this i show you but i don't know what i'm doing here no this is not sorry yeah uh, sir uh, sir can you see these websites there so i'm trying to share some websites please be online it's not visible sir yeah uh, is it fine no, sir no no it's fine. no it's fine sir just i just keep on uh, talking about few things uh, i think it is uh, nearer to 8 o'clock and uh, is it okay sir if i take a few more minutes no problem that's, that's no fine. issues no issues thank you thank you sir yeah i just uh, moved towards first i talk about wordpress uh this gonna be the website most of you are familiar with wordpress i guess if not and this is the best website platform where uh, we can use anybody can use just simply log in and enough you simply you can go to see for example here wordpress.com create a free website or blog you can utilize 
you can utilize this particular website and uh, for making your own blog and where this e-portfolios also can be uploaded in the, in your own blog is one of them okay uh, next one is as i told you be uh, be learning that is a converse i'm talking about converse this is a converse so in this converse see for example you see what are portfolios you have okay these people these people also give you opportunity to edit refine your own document of course they charge you some amount they charge you some amount you need to just simply send the raw material to this canvas doc team enough you send this your material to this to canvas doc team and they charge you some amount just look at if the price is negotiable then you can go ahead with them they will because globally recognized these people they are writing so many documents for international companies too so you can also approach this canvas doc team no issues at all so if you want to prepare develop your own document just to come come here what is an e portfolio and you know here is a button called create an e portfolio you can also create your own e portfolio using this canvas website i'm just closing this now next important thing is this is clip clippings.me also the best approach for everybody this is almost free there is no question of doing that this is almost free and just simply see for this is clippings.me so writing e portfolios okay and also they are asking you to want to write for clippings.me this is another one so you can also use in this website you can also prepare blog as i told you okay you can also prepare so come here this is writing portfolio guide using this writing portfolio guide you prepare your own portfolio that is nice and after creating see they also have the contacts with the clippings.me linkedin website as i told you this is a linkedin website clippings me is also the best uh, tool uh, website you can use this is one okay and then uh, this is another one journo portfolio this is purely uh, journo portfolio everybody can uh, use this journo portfolio website you can also here create your own portfolio you can see this when i move my cursor on here then it disappears some color now it is seeing some color so what are here uh, video editor translator and all this we have proofreader also you have available here you can also approach these website people they develop i just send your raw material to these experts they make it for you just for example see their products they have done look at this on the left side also they have so this is also the best uh, website i considered and you know and uh, next it comes to i wanted to share uh, some uh, after this i move to this particular thing uh, this is another one squarespace.com you can here see here squarespace.com so squarespace build a website or a website builder whatever it is if you want to create your own website use this platform of these days this just simply spending 1500 per year uh, godad is creating godad is giving a platform some with the gb uh, even uh, if you want to buy your own space also you can buy your space with uh, wixi.com you also there is uh, one more thing i can also tell you wixi.com please be online so uh, the, these people are using this uh, this gentleman has used completely wixi.com website for his uh, Uh, portfolio writing and his way. the best part of this particular thing is uh, see uh, what is happening here this gentleman when you look at see as i told you you can use wordpress.com and with the help of wordpress.com platform online platform you can uh, create a website like this okay so what is that first this is called a dashboard this is called dashboard how many contents are there home about scientist scholar engineer student leader captain contact here we have so many things so in the home in the home you are going to have your own uh, photo here you can prepare your own photo photo should be very professional is not that like selfie you make don't make any selfie here 
okay so it should reach to the bump of your body this is you know that should be seen clearly your face and still to the bump that's enough so what he had written the name and here where he is association when you just briefly see for example this is the entire complete black space you have okay here you can write your own spotlight highlighting your skill set we were discussing how to highlight your skills and this is the best space utilized by you entire space write your spotlight spotlight is nothing but here you are highlighting your extraordinary skills just to grab the attention of the global companies if they visit and they will definitely look at your spotlight after looking at your spotlight then immediately they uh, go to home go to about go to scientists and go to all these things okay now here for example see there is a website done by created by himself if i click here i click here click on current site this is his website this is his website and see uh, what he has written in this website construction storm water studio home about the team research teaching outreach so this is also again a dashboard this dashboard here you create a dashboard as a website there you create a blog separate blog for your report for you remember this so when you see what are the see what so this is going to be again affiliation with urban university urban university if you click each and everything then you will come to know what he has done so um, now i am going to close this particular thing let us go back this come on so he is what is he his qualification is civil and environmental engineer unlike india and um, other countries world countries world universities offer integrated engineering courses integrated engineering courses ours is only civil engineering but they offer with how it is integrated with society and nature and you know after this uh, see for example here you can see i move you, i move my cursor on that and then it disappears now it appears curriculum vitae so before curriculum vitae i, I want to talk about the right side here is right side what is in in if you click this in then it pops up to linkedin his account his linkedin account and what is here most of you are aware of this in but many people are not aware of what is rg rg is nothing but a research gate remember this research gate is here how you are all publication i am clicking this now you can see this is michael perez this is you please look at this researchgate.net see here how a doctor of philosophy about network publications all publications are seen here how many people have read his articles 2417 people have read his articles and how many scholars have cited his research work 52 citations he has into his credit okay what is the current position is the current position is an assistant professor in urban universities what are the skills mentioned here water resource engineering hydraulics hydrological modeling all these things so who are the co-authors for his articles writing these these people are the co-authors for his articles writing so here this is going to be see every credential is mentioned here urban university what is his position from so it's almost like cv right that's a brief cv and now here network what is the network levels these are the network levels what are your publications here you can also see his publications in which journal they are available and published these are the articles fine now let us go back to this uh, position you have understood what is rg now let me see it is blinking now i click this particular thing you can see the curriculum vitae of this gentleman please be online and it's opening his uh, it now look at this his it and as we we were talking about uh, somewhere you are going to have on the dashboard and just below the dashboard is photo and uh, spotlight he has mentioned the
ஹலோ சார் சார் we can hear you please carry on yeah madam here i here, lost here, here power audible, connection here, i lost uh, power connection no oh, sir here audible sir yeah yeah i think now you cannot see this particular uh, all the documents available yeah this is a cv uh, the cv can be also here uh, uh, completely compiled and uploaded and uh, you can leave a icon on the uh, dashboard or somewhere you mention every document every educational credentials here yes Speak and really this louder, student... yeah yeah sure 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 Uh, so uh, this uh, curriculum vitae is mentioned and uh, he has mentioned in this uh, front uh, top page that's about recent developments and recent news in the recent news he, where he published his articles he clearly mentioned his uh, articles of course he has mentioned uh, his articles in a curriculum vitae hidden document and this is again open document once you once uh, people visit uh, his website or his blog directly his uh, achievements are uh, directly seen by the visitor what are his recent developments so many people focus whether you have done your research whether you have completed a phd okay if you have completed a phd for 2 to 3 years if you have not published any paper then your research is outdated similarly uh, we have to focus after doing a research phd then we have to focus how many publications you are doing in every year so that is the latest uh, update and so in the recent news also the same situation it happens to be uh, then i wanted to just show you each and everything here i am un unable to show you but still uh, i try to uh, what is he about what is uh, i when how many years of uh, experience as a scientist first point and uh, as a scientist what are the projects he brought out this also can be done so the another one is scholar what do you mean by here a scholar a scholar the real service uh, while sharing his research to the globe that is a scholarship we call it a scholarship scholarship has got some meaning if you have ask a student what is a, have you got scholarship yes i got 5000 scholarship in the in this year but the real scholarship is not that scholarship the real scholarship is here when we talk about the scholarship is the research you have done the devices you have uh, designed a new uh, patents you got so how it is appreciated by the global researchers and the professors intellectual scientists that is going to be a scholarship and also he talks about some as an engineer what is his experience how many projects he has done how many sites he visited that is going to as a student what was his active role during his stay in the university so uh, before making some uh, closing comment Uh, this is going to be uh, of course we also can prepare our own e portfolio stating so many uh, segregating each and every material each and every document each and every certificate we separate right because we happen to write we happen to write everything on the as in the form of a cv okay but here what is happening when it comes to developing a portfolio or a blog we need to prepare a dashboard so whether you have five documents whether you have 10 documents or whether you uh, have done so much work but there is no document also you can describe your own experience and what are the skill set you have gained while visiting or after visiting a site after visiting a place or a field this can be written in when you don't have any particular uh, document to show so uh, in this way this uh, portfolio is i can say this portfolio is the latest uh, trainer methodology we can advise our uh, students uh, ongoing uh, students uh, to make their own portfolio and we can stand by them to help them and also we can uh, make a sort analysis uh, we can also leave 
feedback about uh, their personality, his personality, his attitude, his learning capabilities, and uh, what are his weaknesses, what are his strengths also, we can describe in our feedback. And if we give this feedback uh, letter, written format to the students, they can also uh, attach this document along with uh, uh, what you call uh, statement of purpose after completion of engineering. So this helps uh, at the visa processing unit to get it uh, clarified, to get it uh, uh, validated their visa. They'll get an easy procedure for this particular document. And also they get uh, admission so easily in other universities. So I would like to conclude uh, with this, uh, about this uh, short uh, talk uh, discussion I, with all my colleagues and friends. I have to thank Srinivasar for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, thank you so much, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, any uh, queries, ma'am, Ashalata, ma'am? Guru Charan, sir. Uh, sir, a PPT would be really very helpful, sir, in case uh, you have one PPT on this particular uh, topic. Yeah, madam, definitely. Because in between we lost the connection, even the websites that you were mentioning were actually very yeah, yeah. useful. If yeah. you could, uh, you know, send us uh, in the form of a PPT, it would be really very helpful. Uh, sure, no, I'll share, uh, share across with you all. No issues. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for spending your valuable time. And this is the latest trend like e-portfolios. Now there is no more paper-based e a resume, a curriculum with their uh, profile now. Uh, now everything is e-portfolios. Even the companies are recruiting by checking their e-portfolios. Now thank you so much for updating the uh, uh, knowledge related to how you can become more branded or else how you can brand yourself, how you can promote yourself, how you can become more employable. And uh, thank you very much, you know, how you, uh, what are the areas that, what are the websites that are available, how you can make your life better. Thank you, uh, Dr. Murli Vemula, for making uh, this session more uh, useful. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Uh, tomorrow we'll meet again at uh, oh, 5 o'clock in Mayupati Talks and again 7 o'clock at Mayupati Talks. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Murli Vemula. Thank you, thank you Guru Charan, and pleasure. thank you, uh, Ashalata, Ash ma'am, uh, for uh, being here and making this event successful. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank Bye, you. Bye, sir. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.